Data spaces are governed areas of your Click Cloud tenant that are used to create and store data projects. Personal spaces are private. If you want to provide access to other users to your project, you should create a shared data space. Click Add New, then select Create Space. Enter a name and optionally add a description. Then click Create. When a space is first created, only the user who creates the space is a member of the space. To allow other users to access the data space and resources inside the space, you first add members to the space, then you assign them roles to give them permissions to the space and resources in the space. You can assign one or more of the following roles. Can view. This member can view data assets and data resources, but they cannot make changes. Can consume. This member can consume data from the data asset in the data space. Members with the can consume role can also use resources from a data space when building apps in personal, shared, and managed spaces. Can manage. This member can manage the space details and members. Can operate. This member can view data assets with basic details and perform actions such as run, stop, and resume. Can edit. This member can view and edit data assets in this space, as well as create new data assets. You can add and remove data space members, and you can change or remove their roles. To add or remove members of a data space, or to edit a member's role, you must be a tenant or data admin, the data space owner, or a member of a data space with the can manage role. In data connections, you can create new data connections using connectors and manage access to data movement gateways. In this example, we're going to connect to an Oracle-based data source. In Data Gateway, select the name of the data movement gateway to use to access your data. In Connection String, add the Oracle connection string for the source database. You can type the connection string in any Oracle format. In Account Properties, add the username and password of a user authorized to access the Oracle database. Rename the connection and then test the connection to verify it. When done, click Create. Now, the connection will be available to all the users in the space with the appropriate role. And that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.